So this is something I'm convinced everybody should have in their house. It's an electronic scrubber with a bunch of different heads on it. So you can clean a ton of different areas, whether it's your kitchen, bathroom, whatever. And one thing I wanted to see how well it's gonna clean is my older sink. Cause you know, when sinks get old, they start to get like gunk in really weird spots. And it's really hard to get out. You know, I can't be the only one. Let's try it out and see how well it's gonna work on this older sink. So before we unbox, I wanna show you the sink. So we're gonna try in the silicone, although I'm not sure if it'll even do anything to the silicone. There's like that ring, yellow ring right there. And we got some gunky spots on the back of the sink handle I wanna to try to clean. And then of course the border of the actual uh, nozzle right here. So we're gonna try to get that as well. And so that's a bunch of different areas. We'll give it a try on. So with it, we get a few things. First of all, this is the most bougie looking scrubber I've ever seen. Uh, they have like a Mustang on it. I don't know, I feel like it's like a Ferrari ripoff. But look at the heads. This is like a bit of a softer bristle. So this would be for really light cleaning, I feel like. Oh, it pops out really easy. They have this one, which should get into spots a little bit easier, like that. So we might give this one a try. They also have a sponge cleaner. This would probably be for like light waxing almost, like very soft, just applying something. They have for your dishes. So if you wanna use this in the kitchen, uh, you also have that. Oh. And lastly, this one, a lot of people are gonna love because you can get in those tough to reach areas. And this one we might need to get inside around those edges, especially with the stainless steel. So I'm gonna start with this bristle brush. This seems like a good place to start. I like that it's focused here. My well, the battery's dead. We're gonna go charge it. We'll be back really shortly. Okay, so I charged this for about an hour. It has about two bars, which will run it for about 20 minutes. It takes three to four hours for a full hour charge. Let's go ahead and give it a try, see how well it cleans into this thing. I'm actually surprised it's really getting into the silicone. Now I can't tell if it's damaging it or just getting in there, but man, it's actually looking pretty white again. And you can really get into areas that you probably have never cleaned before, like in your sink's overflow area. Okay, we ran that for about 10 minutes. It really cleaned quite a bit. I wanna show you these results because it's actually really good. Let's go over some before and afters. We'll start with the silicone. I didn't spend too much time cleaning it, but look at how much whiter it is compared to that old silicone. Now it doesn't seem like it was damaging it, but it is possible when you clean it that vigorously. So just keep that in mind if you are going to try to get this a little bit whiter. Now look at the drain. I didn't spend too much time and I didn't have the best product, but it got right underneath and got all the gunk that was hidden under there. It was super gross. I couldn't believe it. And even the side of the base, very clean, but I think most impressive, look it in there. It is like brand new chrome again. It looks great, both sides. And keep in mind, that was only using one of the attachments. You have four different ones to choose from. So this one, this is a must. 